Hey guys, Coolchies here, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, I wanted to give my thoughts over the past couple TWABs, and also kind of segue that into my current view of the game, a lot of my frustrations with the current meta, and why I think these changes are really frustrating for a player like myself. For the record, I am a PvP player, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about in this video is PvP, and also, before you say just go play another game, I am currently on a break from Destiny. I am actually playing other games up until the new season comes out. So yes, I am playing other games, thankfully. So you don't have to comment that. Anyways, let's get into it. Going into the TWAB, what has happened in these past two TWABs? And the first one, a week ago, we saw things like Dawnblade, Top Tree Dawnblade get slapped on the wrist. Chaos Reach got slapped on the wrist a little bit as well. However, we saw other major players in the meta, such as Revenant Hunter, Behemoth Shadebinder, really not get changed whatsoever. Behemoth and Revenant got buffed, which is crazy to me, and Shadebinder did get a tad nerf, but it's very small in the grand scheme of things. We also saw classes that I thought were fine for PvP get buffed, like Bottom Tree Dawnblade and Bottom Tree Stormcaller. I know they aren't the hottest classes right now, but I think that's more of the other classes being too strong rather than them being too weak. And so it was really disheartening for me as a PvP player to see ability buffs. From my perspective, in the current sandbox, abilities are oppressive. No matter if you have good positioning, you have good gunplay, you can still get just killed by an ability for free. It really sucks to feel like you played perfectly, but they had X ability, so they win. And so further buffs to make more abilities that strong really isn't something I wanted. I wanted, a, I wanted nerfs to abilities. When I saw ability sandbox for PvP, what I wanted was a bunch of nerfs and we really just saw buffs there were a few reworks like with top tree dawnblade but realistically it's not really a change whatsoever it's going to be just as strong same thing with chaos reach it still has the ability to get a lot of super energy even without geos and so i was left pretty disappointed and going into this week's twob i was like okay the ability twob maybe it wasn't great maybe they're preparing for something in the future but hopefully we get some good blanket like exotic nerfs to keep them less powerful so maybe that offsets these ability buffs. However, going into this week's TWAB, there was only one exotic for PvP that was nerfed. And that was Geomags, which thank you Bungie for nerfing Geomags, but still. Out of all of the exotics that are rampant in the Crucible right now, that are extremely powerful, that can definitely boost your gameplay past the point that I really want an exotic too. I don't like how strong dune marchers are, stompies, t-steps, ophidians, etc, etc. These exotics that do so many things that they completely change the game, I wish they would just do less. And we didn't see those exotics get nerfed, but we saw others get buffed, which for PvE once again is great. I'm happy for PvE players, but I can't help but feel disappointed as a PvP main. Abilities are getting brought up to that oppressive level. More exotics are getting brought up. Maybe they won't be as strong as the current meta competitors, but they'll still be very strong and it will start to become more obnoxious. And I can only... I only dread what's going to happen in the weapon sandbox next week. <sighs> as a PvP player, I felt like improving in the game right now doesn't matter. I've reached the point of which I am good enough that I can do whatever I want. And for some people, they'd be like, yo, that's awesome. That's awesome that you feel like you've reached that. And for me, it sucks. Because I know I can be a better player. And I want to have the incentive to improve. But currently, with how the game plays, there isn't a reason to. Why would I try to get better when I could just play Shatterdive? Why would I try to get better when I can just use a special weapon the entire game? Why would I try to get better when I can abuse the ever-living hell out of Chaos Reach? There's no reason to. And that, it blows. And that's like my biggest thing. There are so many things in this game that just are anti-skill gap. That as a PvP man, as someone who wants to put a ton of time into this game, there's no reason to do it. I'm sure I could just go down a list of things that were frustrating and not just frustrating but also oppressive anti-skill gap anti-fun but i think we all know what those things are whether or not we want to admit it is up to you 
But as a PvP player, it's getting harder and harder to continue playing this game every year. And even though a little while back Bungie said that they want to make a gunplay more impactful, it really doesn't feel like that is the case. Do I love Destiny 2? Yes. Do I want this game to be successful? Do I think it can be successful? Absolutely. But with these changes going into Season 15, it is very hard for me to have faith without them giving us more information on what their future goal for the game is. It looks like it's becoming more and more of the same old power fantasy, which is something that I can't really get behind. I know I'm really looking forward to Halo because of that. Halo is kind of has that destiny feel, but without that level of unfairness that this game has. So you might catch me in Halo for the future PvP, and I might just start playing Destiny for, believe it or not, Gambit and PvE. Anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching this rant. I just kind of wanted to talk about the TWABs and why I'm kind of disappointed. And maybe we'll do a follow-up video next week with the weapon sandbox. Maybe that will be fine. Maybe we'll see some changes that completely change my opinion, but I really am not too optimistic currently. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.